Welcome back to the Crypto Bar channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is still playing out this hidden bullish divergence, while Ethereum versus Bitcoin is running into critical support. And on top of that, Ethereum is also forming a new pattern in the short term, which I'll talk about later in the video, so definitely watch to the end. First of all, just giving you a quick update here on the weekly Bitcoin charts. And of course, right now, the price of Bitcoin is still running into this critical area of resistance, sitting in between around 36,000 to 38,000. But obviously, despite the price running into this important resistance and somewhat struggling over the last few days or so, of course, we're still technically within this much larger bullish trend here on the larger timeframes, like the weekly timeframe, for example. And now, if you're zooming into the daily Bitcoin chart, of course, once again, as I've said over the last few days, we also still have this bearish divergence here on the daily time frame. But as I've also said over the last few days, it is possible we could see a new higher high in the price while the RSI remains in lower highs, basically extending this bearish divergence to make it even bigger. Because obviously that is what we saw the last time we had a bearish divergence on the daily time frame back here near the beginning of July. We saw three highs in the price of Bitcoin, three higher highs rather than just two. And the daily Bitcoin price oscillators back then are looking extremely similar to what we're seeing right now in the daily Bitcoin price oscillators. And so once again, because of that, I've also been saying that it's possible we could see a slightly higher high again in the price of Bitcoin. We could go a little bit higher to extend this bearish divergence just in the shorter term. But overall, this bearish divergence as of right now, and even if it gets extended, is basically telling us that perhaps in a few weeks, maybe in around a month from now, we should be in some sort of cool off or correction from this shorter term bullish trend. And so, for example, it's possible once again, we could see a slightly higher high and then perhaps cooling off either a sideways consolidation or a bit of a pullback within the next few weeks or over the next one month or so. But once again, even in that scenario, of course, we can still remain within the much larger bullish trend, even if we see more of a short term bearish trend or pullback here on the daily time frame. And in fact, if we do end up seeing any meaningful pullback in the coming one to two months in the price of Bitcoin, personally, I'll be using that as a buying opportunity to simply accumulate more Bitcoin before the Bitcoin halving happening in around April next year and the coming Bitcoin bull cycle. And now if you're zooming into the shorter term, looking at the eight hour Bitcoin chart, once again, as I've been saying recently on the channel, just in the short term here, of course, we're still technically within a bullish trend forming higher lows and higher highs in this ascending parallel channel. And obviously roughly around one day ago, the price of Bitcoin got very close to a possible break below this line of support. But obviously we did not end up seeing any confirmation signal, any candle closes, for example, below this line of support, which was sitting at around 34.7K. And obviously, as you can see here, over the last one day, we saw a bounce from that level of support because the Bitcoin bulls defended this line of support. And so we saw a bounce pretty much exactly up towards this line of resistance, which as I mentioned in my last video here on the channel, this line of resistance is sitting at around 35.8K to 35.9K. And so at least for now, while the price of Bitcoin is in between this support and resistance. Of course, we're still technically forming higher lows and higher highs trending to the upside. So it's only when we start to break this line of support, that is when we potentially start flipping more bearish again in terms of the short term trend. And that is also because of this hidden bullish divergence here on the six hour time frame, which I've also talked about over the last few days, because once again, we have higher lows in the price of Bitcoin, while also seeing lower lows in the six hour Bitcoin RSI. And so once again, this is technically a hidden bullish divergence, meaning we're likely going to see some more bullish price action as one of the most likely scenarios just in the short term. And this hidden bullish divergence only gets invalidated if we see a confirmed break back below this recent low right here, which is sitting at around 34.6K. And so basically we need to see candle closes back below 34.6K in order to invalidate this hidden bullish divergence. But even in that case, it's possible we could confirm a new hidden bullish divergence because for example, if we only only dump towards around this level or even this level, of course, we could still be in higher lows compared to this previous low, while the RSI is still in lower lows compared to this previous low. And so basically, if we just see a slight dump below this previous low just here, of course, we could still see a new hidden bullish divergence confirmed potentially. And so for the Bitcoin bears out there, in order to fully invalidate any chance of a new hidden bullish divergence confirming, we need to see a confirmed break back below this low right here, sitting at around 33.6k approximately. And so essentially, if we break below that low right there with candle closes below 33.6k, then that is when we flip much more bearish again, at least in terms of 
the short term trend. And so once again, the initial bearish signal to watch out for would be a break below this line of support here on the eight hour chart below around 34.7K approximately. But if we confirm a break below around 33.6K, that is when we could flip more bearish. But at least for now, considering that has not happened, of course, we're still currently more bullish than bearish, at least in the short term as of right now. And now if we do end up ultimately breaking to the downside below this line of support, then of course, we still have that area of liquidations that I talked about in my last video here on the channel, sitting at around 33.9K to 34K approximately. And if you want to know more about this area of liquidations and what it could mean for the price of Bitcoin moving forward, then make sure to watch my last video here on the channel to find out more about this chart right here. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the three day ETH to US dollar chart. And as of right now, the breakout for this falling wedge pattern is still technically active with an active price target at around 2.1K. And so nothing much has changed on this chart over the last one day. So taking a look at the daily timeframe and what we can see is a retest of this previous area of resistance, which is now acting as new support in the short term, sitting in between around 1850 to 1890 based on the volume profile indicator. And so obviously if we could see a further bounce confirming this area as support, then that would be extra confirmation confirming the breakout to the upside. And in that case, once again, the next significant area of resistance to the upside on the daily timeframe based on these previous highs is sitting in between around $2,000 to 2030. And that's basically the final area of resistance before hitting that technical price target at around 2.1K. And as for support, once again, we could now find support at around 1850 to 1890, which was previous resistance. And as for the daily Ethereum price oscillators, as of right now, we have not yet confirmed any bearish reversal signals in these indicators, which means as of right now, these are still looking more bullish than bearish. Because for example, even though we have seen a slight decline in bullish momentum over the last couple of weeks, of course, we have not yet confirmed a bearish cross here in the daily Ethereum MACD. And as for the daily Ethereum RSI, as of right now, we still have an active bullish divergence playing out, as I've been saying almost every day since this low back down here at around 1550. And just staying on the daily timeframe, we also still have this active breakout for this active broadening wedge pattern with a price target at around 1980. And if you're zooming into the shorter term, looking at the five hour ETH to US dollar chart, of course, over the last one day, we did see a bit of a pullback and a retest of this previous line of resistance, which is currently acting as new support, sitting at approximately 1870. But even if we see a further confirmed break to the downside below that level, of course, we would simply just be breaking back into this ascending parallel channel, which is technically still a bullish trend. And in that case, we also have this ascending line of support in the short term, sitting at around 1.8K approximately. And so once again, at least for now, in terms of the trend and momentum, we are simply looking more bullish than bearish. But with that being said, if you're zooming into the one hour ETH to US dollar chart, we are potentially forming a small bearish pattern here just on the one hour time frame. But it is important to understand that this potential head and shoulders pattern on the one hour chart is not yet confirmed. It is not confirmed because in order to actually confirm this pattern, we need to see a break to the downside below this line of support, which is sitting at around 1850 to 1860 approximately. And so basically, while the price of ETH remains above around 1850, we are still looking more bullish than bearish. We have not confirmed this head and shoulders pattern. But if we do end up seeing a quick break below 1850 within the next one day or so, then in that case, that could set up a technical price target to the downside based on this head and shoulders pattern. And that technical price target would be sitting at approximately 1.8K right where this level of support is sitting at. But once again, that potential price target and this potential head and shoulders pattern only comes into play. It only activates if we quickly see a break below around 1850 with confirmation. And once again, in order to confirm this pattern, we would have to see that within the next one day or so. Otherwise, if we take too long to see a break to the downside, obviously we would have a large right shoulder compared to the rest of the pattern, which would also help to invalidate the pattern. So this is just something to pay attention to, something that I've pointed out on the chart, but not something to act on as of right now because it is not yet confirmed. And now if you're taking a look at the ETH to Bitcoin chart here on the weekly timeframe, so this is basically showing Ethereum's performance versus Bitcoin ETH priced in Bitcoin rather than ETH priced in US dollars. And in case you're new to this, basically when this chart is going to the downside, that means Ethereum is underperforming against Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is doing better than ETH. And when this chart is going to the upside, that means ETH is doing 
better than Bitcoin. And so here on the weekly time frame, we can clearly see that over the last one year or so, the price of ETH has been underperforming against Bitcoin. But of course, right now, we are running into this significant area of supports based on this previous low mainly, but also previous supports and resistance in past cycles. And this entire area is sitting in between around 0.049 Bitcoin per Ethereum and going up towards around 0.054 Bitcoin per Ethereum. But the critical level is that lower level once again at around 0.049 Bitcoin per Ethereum, which is this exact low that we saw around mid 2022. Because basically, if we end up seeing a confirmed break below that level, below all of this support on the ETH BDC chart, then obviously that would be a strong bearish signal for the price of ETH, meaning Ethereum would likely continue to underperform Bitcoin for at least the next few weeks or months. But obviously right now that has not yet happened. We are simply in the test phase testing this support. So we could potentially see a bounce from this area, which obviously would be a bullish signal because if you're looking at the last time we saw a bounce from around this area right here to the upside, we saw more than a 50% gain to the upside over the next couple of months in the price of ETH versus Bitcoin. And so basically what that means is if you had one Bitcoin, for example, and you converted that Bitcoin into Ethereum, you sold Bitcoin and bought Ethereum right at this low just here, and then you saw a 50% gain. And then right at this high after that 50% gain in the price of ETH versus Bitcoin, if you converted that ETH back to Bitcoin, so if you sold that ETH and bought Bitcoin with that ETH, then you would have 1.5 Bitcoin after a 50% gain. And so obviously, if we see some more confirmation here of either a bounce or a break to the downside, that could be a signal to either accumulate more ETH or more Bitcoin, depending on the signal. But as of right now, we are still in the test phase. And of course, as more signals show up here on the weekly time frame, I'll be sure to let you know about it here in these videos. So make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on to keep up to date with this chart right here and many other charts. And if you want to know how to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if the price of ETH or Bitcoin is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways, you can make a lot of money in crypto by watching these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is bullish or bearish using AI, and the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.